And this week's Zoo Palooza, a historic place most people just don't know about at the Nashville Zoo. News 2's Davis Nolan explains the story behind the Morton House. People go to the Nashville Zoo to see the animals, but there's a lot of history at Grassmere. You may have seen the Croft House at the zoo. It was built in 1810, and the last two family members to live there, sisters Margaret and Elise Croft, donated the Grassmere Farm to be a nature center, and that's how the zoo ended up there. But there's a story behind the story. The farm originated before the Civil War and had enslaved workers. After the war and emancipation, the family hired Frank Morton to manage their property. Frank and his family were very instrumental in making sure that the Grassmere Farm was running and operating. Um, they were a black family. They were hired as tenant farmers to live here. And Frank and his son Albert took care of the livestock, grew and harvested all the crops, took care of the gardens. And then Frank's daughter Maud was also um, the cook. She took care of the Croft sisters, helped with the meals and the butter churning and taking care of the home. Margaret and Elise Croft often noted how instrumental Frank and his family were to the success of the farm. And the Morton family actually lived in one of the former slave quarters on the property. This is the cabin where Frank Morton lived. So you're able to walk in Frank's footsteps. Um, you're able to learn a little bit about what happened to the enslaved population after emancipation, how hard it was for some people to find a job, how Frank was able to get hired, and then see all sorts of photographs. And we have an oral history from Frank's, two of Frank's daughters that you can hear in their words, you know, what life was like here growing up. The Nashville Zoo wants you to come and learn about the rich history of Grasmere, including the life of Frank Morton and his family. The, the historic farm area is kind of our hidden secret up here. Um, we want to change that and we're working to change that, but we want everybody to come and hear our story. You know, not just the reason that there's a zoo here, but the rest of our story as well. The zoo was recently recognized by the Association of Zoos and Aquariums for the exhibit, receiving its top honors for the Diversity Award. For this week's Zoopalooza, I'm Davis Nolan, News 2.